हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड आई एम योर होस्ट महेश कारिया एंड यू आर वाचिंग मी ऑन यूट्यूब लाइव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट काइंड ऑफ फुल स्टैक वेब एप्लीकेशन विद स्प्रिंग बूट एंड हाइबरनेट माय सिक्वल एज अ बैक एंड एंड रिएक्ट एज अ फ्रंट एंड सो लेट्स डीप डाइव इनटू इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू हैवंट इंस्टॉल वीएस कोड ऑलरेडी सो यू कैन ग्रैब योर पैकेज फ्रॉम हियर code.visualstudio.com this is very lightweight i highly recommend you guys to use this editor on uh, the next thing you have to have node available inside your system so node.js.org you can download node from here open your terminal you can check this by simply typing node hyphen v and you will get your current version of node.js and npm hyphen v okay i have this after that open your code this is studio code you can use any editor by the way there is no barrier to use specific editor but even though it makes sense to use visual studio code for everything so create new folder as usual name it whatever it may be like i am going to name it full stack because we are creating full stack web application so full stack drag this folder right here on the top of your visual studio code and open integrated terminal from here so we don't need to open external terminal that's it for now now you have to have few extensions available before proceeding so search for java and you will get this extension pack over here which is combination of another six packages you have to download this it will take time i already have it the next thing is we are working with spring okay so you have to install this thing spring boot extension pack <coughs> excuse me spring boot extension pack uh, this is combination of another five packages and the last thing is lombok so total we need three things okay spring java and lombok we are going to use lombok so we don't need to use getters setters we don't need to write this manually okay lombok uh is something that creates uh, your getter setters um, no argument constructor argument constructor behind the scenes okay so let's deep dive into it and uh, the very first process is to go to view command platter search for spring initializer this one generate a maven project click here it will ask for the language uh, i'm going to use java for now your group id io.mahesh is my group id hit enter then your artifact id is uh, is uh, backend okay hit enter then your boot version you have to select boot version it will take time i guess okay 2.3.1 is current version now we need in dependencies as usual so spring web this one hit enter the next thing is mysql hit enter gpa hit enter uh, so gpa mysql and lombok of course this one hit enter so we got this four dependency select this thing it will generate uh, the folder you have to choose folder inside desktop inside full stack generate into this folder it will create backend here you can open this in another editor means in another window but we don't have to do this uh, okay now i got my folder now i need to download react template okay so mkdir oh don't worry npx create react app and name of the folder front end okay hit enter and it will download the template okay so for now i got my back end folder inside src main java you will get your package io.mahesh.back end uh inside demo application we don't need to do anything but we are using mysql as a back end so you have to have Uh, mysql available inside your system so there are few things that you can use docker as well if you want to means you can use xamp wamp but this is not the proper process to use lamp or mamp whatever it may be so you can use docker okay so for installing docker simply search for docker for your system means for mac for windows then you will get this very first link over here click here and you will get this docker right here right here okay this thing download from docker hub okay click here it will take you through another link 
this one i guess and here you will get your package get stable okay that's it i already have it so inside here you can find this where is that is that search for docker this one you have to click this you have to start this manually okay and you will get this little icon over here and if you are on windows you will get this in bottom left corner right here okay uh, so wait for that now i have to do something uh huh you will get this pop up okay after your uh your spring initializer so you can choose this okay exclude in workspace okay open another terminal uh, by clicking here so we can work side by side on both the cases means in front end and with back end so the thing is search for docker hyphen version okay uh hyphen hyphen version sorry and you will get your current docker version it means docker is available inside your system now the process of installing mysql is very simple docker pull mysql okay hit enter it will it will grab mysql from docker hub okay uh, if you are doing this for first time it will take some time i already have it so i got this next thing you can uh, check this by simply typing docker images so you will get your current image uh, this is 544 mb for now okay the next thing is uh, you have to create uh, that container inside your system so for that you have to write docker sorry docker run provide name hyphen hyphen name my db is my name for now or whatever it may be you can use anything my sql db will be better okay the next thing is provide environment variable my sql root password we need password okay password will be my password but p capital so i got my password another environment variable is my sql database so we don't need to create database manually okay so write this pass this here data I'm using Docker because Docker makes sense while deploying your project to Heroku or whatever it may be. It makes sense. A Docker database name will be MyDB, okay? And the next thing is in detach mode space, okay? Here is the space between MyDB and this. Make sure, huh? okay? In detach mode, publish this thing on port 3306 colon 3306 will be the default um, port number for your MySQL. Then uh, your image that we just downloaded from docker hub mysql latest okay that's it for now and everything is perfect i guess now i can hit enter over here so yeah everything is perfect search for docker ps and you will get this thing running four second ago okay it's running it means i got my docker available now mysql will avail available inside my container it is running right now so you can use table plus or whatever it may be uh, or mysql workbench so i highly recommend you guys to use tableplus.com uh, grab this for here this is available for windows and mac as well uh, this is like if you are using example ram you don't need to download this but otherwise this is better okay the next thing is uh, you can use postman because uh, we are making uh, uh, the rest tool api so you can use postman it's all up to you but i'm going to use swagger okay uh, so swagger makes sense will provide the official documentation of your rest tool api so we don't need to do uh, don't need to use postman okay uh, so let's do it so create a schema schema or models whatever you want to say java okay uh, okay here i need to define this is my entity okay hit enter then data hit enter this is uh, from lombok i guess i'm not getting such okay got it wait for suggestion okay guys it will automatically import the packages you don't need to write this manually like uh, if you are working on eclipse or sts uh, it's fine then uh, next thing is private uh, int first thing is my id which will be type of you have to uh, pass this annotations from jpa id and the next thing is generated value 
generated value this one hit enter okay so this is my primary key the uh, next thing is private string of name the next thing is again private string of email and the last thing is private string of password that's it for now so i got my schema now we can proceed for the further process that's it for now uh i can create my user repository dot java okay it makes sense to uh, make separate repository interface okay which will extended by gpa repository and uh, here you have to pass your schema user is my schema and the uh, first primary key which will be type of the type of first primary key is integer okay not a first primary key the name okay that's it for now so this oh, okay i forgot one thing you have to uh, write this annotation this is my repository hit enter so that's it now the last thing is user controller dot java hit enter um you can pass a request mapping over here so whatever the path uh you will write is concatenated by this slash api okay so i have to use auto wire to to connect my a repository over here with my private variable private user repository this thing user repository okay and the next thing is my gate mapping okay uh, i have to write this this is my controller okay so this is my rest controller i guess so hit enter okay now this is my gate mapping you can pass path like this and your public method this is my public method written type will be list of users make sure to choose this not this this list uh hit enter type of user and the name of your method you can use any name there is no barrier to use specific name and this is according to you guys and in return you can pass user repository dot find all method which will return the list of users okay the next thing is again i'll use gate mapping for uh returning the specific user so we need id if you want to return a specific user so again i need a public method and return type will be again user and the name is this time get single user okay you can pass parameter which is a form of path variable okay because this is my path right so this is path variable and you have to define the type integer and id so we can grab this from here inside user repository find by id method so inside here you can pass id or if we don't find that particular user then or else you can find null so okay we got this in return we can pass this single user okay the next thing is as usual post so we can post data of user okay post user and path will be the same and my public method here will return user the name will be post user this time and here you have to write this is a requested body okay a requested body because we are requesting we are passing user in the form of post okay so user we just need to use user repository dot save this particular user okay that's it so you can return this if you want to it's all up to you i'm not going to do validation and all you have to do this on your own so i don't know why i'm getting this this is not post user extremely sorry for that this is my post mapping hit enter the next thing is again at put mapping 
एंड हाँ दिस इज ट्रिकी बिकॉज बिफोर दैट वी नीड टू डिफाइन आई डी यू कैन डिफाइन आई डी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू यूज आई डी बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू पास दिस आई डी इन साइड माई रिक्वेस्टेड बॉडी सो पब्लिक मेथड इन साइड हेयर रिटर्न टाइप विल बी अगेन यूजर एंड दिस विल बी माई पुट मेथड पुट यूजर ओके दिस विल बी माई रिक्वेस्टेड बॉडी and written type the type will be user user and here first of all we have to find that particular user where i have to make changes okay so you can grab this here okay so this is my old user you can say that uh this is a kind of crash course uh, so old you uh, sorry my user dot get id get id we are using lamp book so we don't need to write okay get us it is that's why we are getting this thing okay uh user dot get id and in now old user dot set name and here you can pass user dot get name okay for rest of them we will use the same things like for email and for my password okay this is for email this is for my password here that's it but before that we have to save these changes so user repository dot save changes and pass your old user over here that's it and here you can return this if you want to it makes sense okay uh, now the last thing is as usual your delete mapping pass your id over here and the process is same public method and return type will be integer this time we will pass just id of that user while deleting delete user and uh, again path variable will be type of integer id okay and here i need to here i have to do something user repository dot delete by id okay delete by id and you have to pass the id and in return you can pass id like this okay that's it so we got this but we are using swagger documentation okay you 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 can uh, grab this code from github uh, just find inside description you will get this link of github you can follow me on github and subscribe my channel if you want to if you like this video so uh, let's do it we need swagger okay so click here view command platter here uh, write maven add dependency colon add dependency this thing click here and you will get this thing you can write here whatever you have to download there is no need to write something in poem.xml i don't like this so spring fox hyphen swagger to hit enter and you will get this thing so it will uh, whatever you will uh, add this thing it will add to poem.xml so okay Uh, select this thing okay and check your poem.xml this so we just added this thing but we have to change this thing uh 2.9.2 it will be better okay so uh, hit now and the next dependency is inside command platter again maven add dependency search for spring fox swagger hyphen ui hit enter you will get this thing this thing click here and again we got another dependency here you can write this manually if you want to it's all up to you guys so again click here now okay it will download this packages so now we are ready to go so my mysql is running okay my react is available to use so you can simply write here npm start inside my whole stack change your directory for cd into front end okay this is my react terminal this is my for my front back end terminal 
ओके सो सिंपली राइट एन पी एम स्टार्ट इन माई फ्रंट एंड एंड इन बैक एंड इफ यू हैव मे वन अवेलेबल लाइक दिस मे वन स्प्रिंग बोट कोलन रन यू कैन यूज दिस थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ओके दिस इज माई रिएक्ट थिंग दिस इज माई रिएक्ट ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अदरवाइज यू कैन चेक दिस थिंग स्प्रिंग बोट डैश बोर्ड दिस थिंग ओके क्लिक हेयर एंड सिलेक्ट दिस थिंग बोथ आर द प्रोसेस सेम ओके बट आई लाइक दिस सी एल आई थिंग सी एल आई मेक सेंस यू कैन यू कैन यूज सी एल आई इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इफ यू आर फैमिलियर विथ इक्लिप्स वॉट एर इट मे बी इट्स ऑल अप टू आई एम गेटिंग एरर सो लेट सी वॉट वी आर गेटिंग विच एरर वी आर गेटिंग ओके 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 इन साइड माई डेमो अप्लीकेशन हियर यू हैव टू यूज दिस इनेबल स्वागर टू ओके ओके वी हैव टू क्रॉस चेक दिस थिंग इफ एवरी थिंग इज ऑल राइट ओके यूज अर रिपोजिटिव प्राइवेट डिपोजिटिव ओके 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 इन साइड माई रिसोर्स अप्लीकेशन प्रॉपर्टीज आई हैव टू डिफाइन दिस थिंग स्प्रिंग डॉट डेटा डेटा सोर्स ओके डेटा सोर्स डॉट यूजर नेम द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज माई पासवर्ड और द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज माई यू आर एल एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग इज माई ड्राइवर क्लास नेम ओके माई ड्राइवर क्लास नेम विल बी कॉम डॉट माई सिक्वल डॉट सी जे डॉट जे डी बी सी डॉट ड्राइवर यूजर नेम विल बी रूट एज यूजल and default password is my password make sure this password is what i mentioned while creating my container uh, okay and my url will be jdbc colon mysql colon local host colon 3306 slash mydb your name of database uh, okay this is perfect i guess colon slash slash okay perfectly fine forward slash okay now you can you can uh, start this thing i uh, you can use spring cli i highly recommend you guys to use spring cli that makes sense it makes sense always it's easy to create uh, boiler plates with spring cli you can uh, check out my uh, crash course okay on my channel okay search for localhost colon 8080 slash api slash make sure to use slash at the end of api hit enter oh, i got nothing okay i made mistake i guess it's completely fine uh so let's see inside my controller uh request mapping will be slash api it's perfectly fine so let's use my swagger localhost colon 8080 slash swagger hyphen ui dot html hit enter let's see what we have user controller so we don't need to use postman you can use postman you can grab your postman from here postman.com if you want to this is a tool that makes a uh, connection or testing tool of your api you can use this if you want to but uh, if you are using this swagger so you don't need to use postman anymore uh, so here get things try it out execute this thing and you will get this thing oh what we uh we we are getting error i don't know why so let's see list of users find all okay user repository i have error oh uh, wait i have to pause this video i'll be back okay guys i got it uh first of all we have to use uh, this cross origin over here inside my user controller okay so because you are working with react so okay this thing and my inside my user.java you have to define this 
all ARGS constructor and no ARGS constructor hit enter it will automatically grab this for you this okay that's it I guess so now restart your server by clicking here or uh, by clicking here okay I have to slide this over here this is perfect I guess okay it's perfect now uh, refresh this thing uh, your localhost colon att slash swagger dash ui dot html hit enter and inside your user controller get try it out i hope this time it will work this is again not working what happened well, okay uh, inside here my properties uh, you have to define this spring dot uh, gpa uh, dot uh, hibernate dot ttl auto will be update okay that's it i guess now you can restart this thing let's see if uh, okay now again refresh this page okay oh uh, i'm getting this localhost colon 8080 i don't know huh localhost colon 8080 slash swagger ui dot html inside here git try this out execute i got this okay empty response body so this is working so we don't need to uh this is working okay you can test this thing uh everything is fine now we can work with react so close this up everything this 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 and this and this and this okay now my backend code is perfectly ready to use now you have to do validation on your own okay don't be confused guys you, you have to do well do it like whatever it may be bad request 404 whatever it may be uh, this is a kind of crash course so i have to do this very quickly you can delete this thing inside your front end inside source folder delete this css everything like css app.test.js index.css logo i don't want logo service worker you can use service worker if you want to work with pwa progressive web app it's all up to you but i have to make this thing very simplest as possible move to trash just i just have app.js you can remove this thing all the unwanted code uh, okay and this okay ha huh, this is better and this header close this up okay i'm going to use materialize for that and this is perfectly fine hello and inside index you can remove this this thing and this thing i don't want this ah, okay this is perfectly fine now inside here you can get this hello okay now uh search for materialize css.com materialize css.com you can get this thing inside description if you are getting problem okay search for um, getting started click here and you can grab these two links from here okay first one this link copy this thing inside your public index.html uh, you can remove this all the unwanted data i don't want this anymore okay uh, perfectly fine inside here and the next thing is this okay paste it over here and the last thing is icon i guess icons.html and inside here grab this link so we can use icons so okay these three links okay guys one two three one two three this thing now we are done with this index.html save this before closing okay so now we can work with our code we don't need to work with index.js here now the first thing is class container 
क्लास नाइन और वी नीड फ्यू थिंग्स लाइक नाउ बार ओके सो क्लिक हेयर एंड ग्रैब दिस सोर्स कोड एंड पेस्ट इट ओवर हियर इन साइड इंडेक्स डॉट एच टी एम एल हियर ओके वॉट एवर द मेन्यू यू हैव टू यूज रिएक्ट राउटर विथ यूर रिएक्ट राउटर इट्स ऑल अप टू यू ओके वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस थिंग डोंट वरी अबाउट दिस दिस जस्ट टू लुक दिस थिंग क्लीन परफेक्ट ओके द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज सेक्स ओके वन टू एंड थ्री सॉरी थ्री एंड इन साइड ऑफ लोग यू कैन यूज एड मीन ओके लेट सी हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक ओके परफेक्टली फाइन नाउ वी नीड मेन्यू सो सर्च फॉर ऑटो कंप्लीट क्लोज दिस अप इन साइड हियर टिव अगेन क्लास नेम विल बी कॉल एस सिक्स दिस टाइम फॉर स्मॉल डिवाइसेस एस सिक्स एंड हियर यू हैव टू डिफाइन फॉर्म ओके ऑन सबमिट विल डू समथिंग एंड चेन दिस फंक्शन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू यूज फंक्शन क्लास योर एप एक्सटेंड्स योर रिएक्ट कंपोनेंट डॉट कंपोनेंट ओके दैट्स इट फॉर नाउ दिस इज परफेक्ट नाउ हियर आई हैव टू रेंडर दिस थिंग ओके एंड द रिटर्न thing is inside here so okay uh you can use normal table over here inside here normal table no need to write classes or something table search for table grab this stuff copy this thing most of folks don't like copy paste type of things but uh, it's all up to you guys this kind of crash course okay the first name next thing is my email or uh, the next thing is my password again guys if you like this video make sure to subscribe my channel next thing is add it next thing is my delete so now here okay now here i have to define form so search for auto complete this thing click here and you will get this beautiful input field over here you can grab and there is no need to grab everything just this line three lines i guess okay let's check this out you have to close this thing okay because this is jsx so you must have to close your input so and change this class to class name okay but this is fine for now uh okay let's see this is not perfect okay i need my row so i forgot to define row so cut this thing and define row dot row and this is not working okay div class name will be row so inside row there will be a two column okay now this is perfect i guess okay this is perfectly fine now you can define this is this is icons you you can find uh, icons over here okay guys whatever the name you want to use i all these things you can use any name okay so the first thing is person because we are going to use the first name okay you will get this icon over here the next thing you you have to copy this thing for two times again so person next thing is email i guess and the last thing is a vpn key underscore key so we got three things this is my key email okay this is perfectly fine so this is my what was that password will be type of password 
and uh, will be type of email this will be my email that's it let's see how it looks like perfectly fine we need button so search for button i'm i'm not using components so it's all up to you you can use this if you want to copy this thing okay paste it over here okay but this time i'll use and make few changes over here uh okay right it looks perfect okay uh this is perfectly fine okay guys so now we have to do few things uh here define constructor pass your props over here inside here in super you can pass props okay this is fine and the next thing is uh, component dot did mount so the component dot did mount is something that uh, calls every time when you refresh the page for the first time auto load things okay so i'm going to use few dependencies over here okay so i have to define few dependencies change your directory to front end enter clear this out and npm install axios hyphen hyphen save enter so axios is something that works with api there is no need to use axios but axios uh, axios is uh, makes sense makes easier to use APS so uh, here you can import axios import statement from axios import axios I hope it will be fine so axios dot get and here you can pass your URL what was the URL uh, here localhost colon 880 slash you can get this from here i guess this thing localhost colon 880 slash api slash so uh http localhost colon 880 slash api slash and uh, here i have to define my uh okay what was that this dot stage and here you can define users okay and the next thing is my id will be always zero uh the next thing is my not always a name empty my email empty my password empty that's it email password got this inside my component or did mount i got this thing and if we got this thing then we can store the response will get response okay you can use as async await if you want to i use a uh, traditional way okay so inside here i'll use this dot set state and inside users i have to save this res dot data i guess okay but uh, while doing this you you have to make sure that again reflect this changes id is zero name is empty email is empty so every time when we uh, get data it will when we call component dot read mount it will refresh the page password okay that's it perfectly fine now i have to create few things few methods like submit on submit Uh, on submit we will pass event and id okay so submit is something that works both the time like while put data while updating data and while posting data so we have to have id available so if id is zero then it means we are posting data if id is something else it means we are updating data so that's why i need id and event event for event dot prevent prevent default this is function okay and now here if my id is 
equals to triple equals to zero then we can post data axios dot post and here uh, you can define this same url okay and pass your data over here uh, wait like this name this dot state dot name email this dot state dot dot email and my password will be I know there are few things that you can make this thing easier but this is perfect way to do this this dot state dot my password so if we and at the end dot then you will get a response I guess okay so whatever it may be response uh, but you have to do this you have to call component dot date mount every time so it will reload the page without reloading page manually okay the next thing is put data okay so in else else of this else of this we have to do this exios dot put your http colon it's the same thing but we need id now we don't need id this time again because we have id available inside my inside my user okay uh, but this time again we will pass same things but with id this thing okay I don't like copy paste but it's fine okay this dot state dot id comma so now this time i have to pass id and again if then uh then call this component dot did mount okay now it's perfectly fine the last thing is delete here I guess no 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 here uh, delete delete but we have to pass ID and here axios dot delete and pass your oh sorry HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 80 80 slash api slash your id so concatenate this thing you can use this thing like this it's all up to you but uh, this is better to use backtick dollar your id okay that's it then inside here you can again this dot component dot did mount perfect now we got this and the last thing is edit to call specific user and this something that calls that specific user okay so method will be get this time axios dot get uh, the same thing as usual okay this thing this thing perfect and then we'll get response here in return okay so uh, we have to do you can use console log for testing like this whatever the response dot data I guess response dot data yeah fine but we have to set this state set state so my name will be ID will be my uh, what was that res dot data dot id and remaining are same okay name my email and my password 
we are getting this three things okay my password my email okay and my name name okay got this so this is perfectly fine and now the main thing is here right here inside my form i have to define on submit method on submit this dot submit and pass event comma id i guess uh, or this dot state dot id state dot id perfect and the next thing is uh, inside here value value inside my value i need the uh, current value so this dot state dot uh, what was that the name okay so copy this thing for all of them first time this is empty okay name email and password is empty for the first time but uh, if we are making changes over there then uh, we have to use on change method so here on change of event equals to this dot set state or uh, for that specific thing like uh, for name event dot target dot value okay so we have to apply this for all of them this time email and this time here I need password if you want uh, specific things like by uh, episodes uh, you don't want crash course then please let me know inside comment box I'll make a series of uh, this spring and react thing okay so password I think this is perfect I think let's see what the mistakes I have made okay this thing is remaining my name email password edit and delete this is my last thing i have to look through all the users uh, over here okay so we have to use map method so cut this okay now inside here single curly braces you can use this dot state dot your users dot map function okay so inside map this is like for loop okay so you will get this specific user for each time and you, now we can look through it like this now you can paste this thing over here okay we have to define key it makes sense okay key is user dot id always the primary key key should be like something like primary uh, here you have to define user dot name uh, the next thing is email again and the last thing is my password and here I have to define my button so you can grab the same button and we can remove the stuff from here like this okay and uh, remove this thing right remove this submit use this for edit remove this right this is perfectly fine and copy this thing for here for delete paste it over here and this time I'll use delete delete is a name of icon okay edit and delete is a name of icon which will you will get this from here inside icons okay 
icons i know these names that's why i'm using it here from here okay did it but on click on click uh on click of delete i can use this thing equal to this dot delete and pass your user dot id over here and inside here pass your edit so we can get this thing this is perfectly fine i guess let's see what the mistakes we have made i generally do mistakes so sorry in advance mahesh karia is my official email address so and password will be my password at one two three oh, i'll do mistakes oh my god it's working oh, it's working if i want to make changes like at at like only mahesh submit oh my god it's working let's see delete it okay oh it's completely fine thank you very much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time you can check this my github from here github.com slash mahesh karia now please follow me on github you will be notified all the time i promise you guys i'll make you there are lots of repositories are available uh there are lots of uh videos i have made you can check this out inside my channel inside videos okay and please hit this bell icon and subscribe my channel i need you guys thank you very much for all of, all of you guys for the great love thank you so much